and this really got me through my tough time so i would definitely recommend this if you got oily skin and if you're having a bad breakout this always just calms my face down oh god honey no Hey guys, my name is Dr. K and I am so excited for this week's video. I am going to be reacting to Megan the Stallion. Megan the Stallion, the hot girl summer, hot girl lifestyle. She is amazing. She is literal skin goals. And I'm really interested to see what this girl is doing. What is she doing to get such perfect skin? I want to know what the real tea is. And she has decided to invite us into her bedroom. Let me reword that because that sounded a bit off. She has decided to invite us into her life. Okay, that didn't sound much better, but she has decided to show us her nighttime skin routine and I am here for it. So let's watch this video together and I'm gonna react along the way. <clears throat> What's up, it's Megan Stagan, AKA The Hot Girl Coach, and right now I'm about to show you my nighttime routine. Are you ready to go to bed with me? Every night before bed, I have to wash off the 20 pounds of makeup that I had on all day from doing hot girl stuff, shooting on set, talking to cute boys. If this is what she looks like after a whole day of being busy, being a hot girl, living her hot girl dreams, then I want some of that, cause she looks good. My oil, I use Cetaphil. Um, I have kind of sensitive skin too, like anything will make me break out. Sometimes a lot of stuff is like just super harsh on my skin. So this is like something that I've realized it's like the only thing I can use. And it's the only thing a lot of people can use. And I used to have acne, bad, okay? And this really got me through my tough time. So I would definitely recommend this if you got oily skin. And if you're having a bad breakout, this always just calms my face down. Oh my God, Meg girl, Meg, Meg. I was rooting for you. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. I was rooting for you. They are coming for you. The skincare brigade, they're coming for you because you're using the product that should not be mentioned. You're using Cetaphil cleanser, Cetaphil <coughs> cleanser. For those of you who are wondering, why am I reacting so much to her just using a cleanser, something that looks quite harmless. The thing is, the Cetaphil advertising team have a lot to answer for. This is a product that has been promoted as being kind to the skin, it's gentle, it's good for you, it's harmless. But when you actually take a minute and you look at the ingredient list, it's got a lot of the horror stories in skincare. It's quite ironic that she says that she doesn't have any issues and it's the only thing that's worked for her acne. I can't really argue with that because that's her experience. For a lot of people the opposite is true and Cetaphil cleanser claims to be innocent but the way I see it is like a wolf in sheep's clothing. It's supposedly gentle, it's mild, it's great but it's got a lot of the ingredients like sulfates, parabens etc that actually are known to cause a lot of skin irritation. So I would recommend using a really gentle cleanser. There are tons of better cleansers that do a much better job than Cetaphil. I know the good sis Meg, she loves her cleanser, she loves her Cetaphil, and if it's working for her, then I'm probably not gonna change it. We'll leave it, let sleeping dogs lie. But if you're watching this Meg, and you wanna step up your skincare routine, and you wanna go from a, you know, a zero to a hero, not that I'm saying that you're a zero, far from it, but if you want your skincare, especially your cleansers, to go from a zero to a hundred, then I would suggest ditch the Cetaphil cleanser. Maybe try something by CeraVe, and they've got a huge line of cleansers, or Obagi has a really good gentle cleanser that I've used that doesn't strip the skin. There's lots of Korean and Japanese skincare brands that also do really good quality cleansers. Oh, I lied, girl. I didn't even wipe the makeup off. I lied to y'all. This first. The Neutrogena makeup wipes, this is what get all the hot girl stuff off your face. Like, it don't matter what I put on my face, this gonna take it off in like three swipes. Those nights after the college parties, trying to wake up, go to class the next day. I was sick of going to class with smudged mascara. <laughs> 
first we had Cetaphil cleanser and now we've gone from bad to worse because we're now using makeup wipes. Makeup wipes are literally the devil. Yeah, I'm exaggerating, but they are a bad thing in skincare. Skincare wipes are a bad thing for two main reasons. One, they're actually not very good at removing makeup. All they tend to do for the most part is smear around the makeup. And it's ironic that she said that she would wake up and she was tired of having mascara smeared all over her face. How many of you have had that same experience with makeup wipes and you have to use one, two, three, just to get the job done? A much better way of cleansing your skin is to use the two-step or the double-step why do I say two-step? Nobody calls it two-step, but the double cleansing method. All it means is that before you go on to cleanse your face with Cetaphil or whatever cleanser that you're using, you just use an oil or a balm, which you apply first. That helps to melt away and dissolve the makeup before you go on to cleanse with a cleanser. The skincare wipes are so last year. We're not using them anymore. We have much better ways of removing makeup. So step it up, sis. Let's get you onto a double cleansing regime and you will find the same, not if not better, makeup removing action. Apparently the boys like me better with no makeup. But I really don't care what the boys think. I like me, take me as I am, or don't take me at all. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I love this hot girl mentality, which is all about you and less about them. You do what you like, regardless of any boy saying he likes makeup, he doesn't like makeup, he likes skincare, he doesn't like skincare, he likes weave, doesn't like weave. Take me as I am, because this is what you're going to get. <laughs> Try not to drown in the sink. Okay, now that you dry, boom. Moisturizing cream, because you don't want to be dry. You always want to keep it wet, moist. This is La Mer Moisturizing Cream. And you know, this is kind of bougie. Uh, Kellen, actually, my hair just put me onto this, and he's like, Megan, you have to try this product. Oh my God, I thought it couldn't get worse. We had Cetaphil cleanser, then we had makeup wipes. Now we've got La Mer. La Mer, I will be honest and say that I have never tried La Mer products. They are out of my price range. I'm just gonna be honest. It seems like it's more to do with that appeal, with that kind of cachet, with that prestige of using La Mer products rather than the actual effectiveness of the products. Because from what I'm hearing, it just seems like you might as well stick with a tub of Vaseline rather than paying $150 or £150 for expensive skincare that is not actually any different to plain drugstore brands. Just because a product is expensive or you read it in Vogue magazine or it's advertised on a specific website, shouldn't mean that you go for it at the expense of other products. The good thing about skincare in recent years is that it's just become much more open and accessible to everyone. To get some good level of products, you may have to spend more, but cost, and efficiency don't go hand in hand. Believe you me, there's nothing worse than paying a pretty coin for a skincare product only to find that it doesn't work or even worse, it breaks you out. Now you've wasted your time and you've damaged your skin. And I actually did try it. I can't be mad though because she has great skin. This is her with no makeup and she looks like she's ready for a photo shoot. Her skin is immaculate. She looks she looks delicious. She looks amazing. I am scared to try that vampire facial thing. I looked at somebody's story and they were getting a vampire facial and the girl just looked like she got in a car accident. And I was like, oh my goodness, what's wrong? She's like, yeah, I'm at the dermatologist. I was getting that facial. I'm like, girl, that looked like a murder. So, scared of that. <laughs> girl, honestly, you're missing a trick. Vampire facials or PRP treatments are actually the thing, okay? So don't let the car crash or the horror faces fool you. This stuff works. They're called vampire facials because it involves 
taking a sample of your own blood, your blood is drawn, i.e. the vampire, and then it's spun in a machine called a centrifuge and it separates into different parts. And the part that we're interested in is the platelet-rich plasma. This is like the fertilizer to your skin. And what we found is that if we inject this fertilizer, this growth elixir into certain areas like your skin or hair or even other body parts and cause additional benefits such as increased collagen production. It can even reduce things like hyperpigmentation, improve your skin texture. It gives you that glow from the inside out. And for me, because I told you I used to have bad acne, I put a little bio oil on my cheeks because it like gets rid of dark marks. You can put it on anything because it gets rid of like scars in general. And then yeah girl, brush your teeth. Bio oil. So that's the secret. After all of that, the secret to the skincare is bio oil. From my perspective, I'm a bit dubious because bio oil is actually another example of how marketing can influence how a skincare product is perceived. The good thing about bio oil is that it is non-comedogenic, so it's not going to clog your pores. And that's really all I can say in terms of the good. The bad thing is that it doesn't actually work. The active ingredient in bio oil is vitamin E. And vitamin E is a good ingredient to have, but the concentration in bio oil is too small to be of significant difference. So if I were you, rather than going and paying an expensive price for bio oil, I'll just cut out the middleman and just go and get some vitamin E from your drugstore and try that instead. If you're looking for oils that have skincare properties, my best bet is actually to try rosehip oil. It's light enough so that it doesn't give you that heavy, clogged, congested feeling on your face. It's a very good final step in skincare. It acts like an occlusive and it helps to solidify a lot of the skincare ingredients that you've used before it. So if you're gonna use any oils, I would personally avoid bio oil I would use rosehip oil or even marula oil and those things are a much 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 better alternative to try and then yeah girl brush your teeth that's about it mm -hmm. you gotta cover the whole toothbrush with the toothpaste don't half do it don't put a dot a drip squirt no girl i guess we're seeing the whole routine and it's good to know that she brushes her teeth before bedtime i would say though that electric toothbrushes my mom taught me the importance of brushing my tongue because your tongue is really the key to a good breath. Yep. And I do this a lot. Ah. So like, my tongue gotta be ready to go ah. all the time. After I get out of the shower, I like to make sure my whole body is moisturized. And you know, sometimes I can get a little ashy and I don't wanna be ashy, I wanna be moist all the time. So, I put this on and this is literally like, the equivalent to Vaseline <laughs> and it literally keeps me moisturized until the next day all day long how do you go get this yes yes we are saving this thing today because I love Aquaphor and I wish we had it more available in the UK but for those of you who are not in the know Aquaphor is the business. It's actually got petroleum jelly in it, along with glycerin and other really useful ingredients. It's really good for burns, scalds, marks. It helps to kind of form a layer over the skin to prevent further moisture loss. So it's a really good product. I just wish I was able to get my hands on it. We only need to use this like one time and then like you're good for like a week. Personally, I don't use Aquaphor all over my body. I tend to use it on areas of my skin where the skin is thicker. So things like the last step after I've moisturized my hands or on my feet or on my elbows, areas where my skin tends to get ashy. I would save it more for those and instead use something like Cetraben lotion, use Aveeno or like a cream for my main body parts. When my skin started clearing up, Hell no, I don't fall asleep with makeup on. Cause once you get to a good level with your skin, cause your skin wanna fight you sometimes. So when you finally win the fight, you don't wanna do nothing to get beat up again. So <laughs> my dermatologist definitely put me on because at first I was just living life, drinking dark liquor, eating sugar, 
um, not wiping my makeup off at night. And I went to the dermatologist and I'm like, what's wrong with my skin? She like, girl, what's wrong with you? So I was like, well, yeah, I do do all these bad things that is tearing my skin up. So let's, let's make a change. I'm Megan Thee Stallion, AKA the Hot Girl Coach. And that was my nighttime routine. Ah. Did I do it right? I really love the way she ended it. And she's really right because a lot of people want to get the quick fix about the next skincare product. Tell me, tell me what product can I use on my skin? What can I use for my skin? But your skin is actually an outward manifestation of you on the inside. So I'm really glad that she ended this on a positive note and I'm glad that she's practicing what she preaches. All I would say is that she can just do with a little bit of tweaking. She needs to go back to the dermatologist or to an esthetician to get a proper routine that will work for her. Then she'll go from a hot girl summer to like an uber hot girl life forever. And that's what we want to see. We love to see it. So have you seen the video? What was your favorite part of her skincare routine? Or what products did she use that you've used as well? Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And I would appreciate it even more if you made sure to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care.